Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another day on the Ferrari 308 project. So I thought I'd start this video where I typically have to start my day on the 308 and that is here in my little car cave. And it's all about thinking and preparing what kind of jobs I need to do on that car today and grabbing all the necessary tools to do that. Unfortunately, the 308 is not here where all my tools are located. So uh, I need to always plan ahead and try and make sure I've got everything I need. And typically I always forget something. So I then have to bring it all back because on top of the 308, yes, I'm working on the 348 project at the same time. So it's a hard life, but someone has to do it. Anyway, gonna grab the right tools, gonna get changed, jump in a car, and I will see you when I'm at 308. Ciao for now. There you go, click of a finger as if by magic. I'm here at the 308, changed and ready to go. So, plans for today on this car. Three things I want to achieve today really on this. Number one, full compression test on the engine. Make sure that that back bank is okay. Possibly with the uh, engine idling and revving so high, it could be masking potential issues there. Uh, so full compression test number one. Number two, I have brand new belts and tensioners to go on. Uh, I don't know when they were changed last on this car, so it's not point, uh, no point taking any risks. They were so cheap, I think 80 pounds uh, for, for the lot. So get those changed. And finally, obviously, uh, probably the main thing and the first thing is to get that idle speed right down. It's revving between three and a half and 4,000 RPM at the moment. So get that down and uh, yeah, if we got any more time after that, uh, one of the things maybe drive the car up and down here. Yeah, just to make sure those gears are working, test the brakes, things like that. So let's crack on, see how we get on with time. So I'm gonna uh, tighten up this air screw underneath the throttle body here. I'm just gonna remove this to make it easy for me. I'm gonna adjust that up and uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring our idle speed down. Bit of smoke on the car at the moment. Uh, you can see in the video, that's a lot of excess oil that came out of the uh, rocker cover and uh, it's gradually burning off. This is what I'm just adjusting at the moment. It's this air screw underneath here. You can actually do it by hand. I've just got this removed at the moment. I want to screw it right in and then we'll just back it off slightly. Okay, so that is now idling just over 1000 RPM. Uh, I'll just monitor this. Obviously the cold start system is also in play at the moment, so uh, this might fluctuate. But for now, for me testing, I'm happy with that. Let's have a listen. That's pretty good. Just uh, in the process of getting all the eight plugs out. Six out, two to go. I left the hardest two till last. My gut instinct at this stage is, I bet my compression on this bank is not right. Just a sneaky, sneaky suspicion is not uh, running well. So let's get those two plugs out and I will show you the results live. Okay, so that's all of the eight spark plugs out of the car. Fuel relay is also out. Um, I've got the compression tester hooked up to this front bank here that we had pretty decent readings from before. Let's see how they compare and then we'll move on to our rear bank. Well, that's a decent start. We're still the same 175 on that first one. So nothing's changed there. Happy with that. Let's move on to the next one. Finish this 
front bank. All four are pretty much identical to the previous readings, so really happy with that. No big upsets there. Uh, kind of expected to be fair, but this is the biggie now. We're gonna go on to the rear bank and test compression on there. My gut feeling is, like I say, it's not gonna be good. Uh, let's see how we get on. Normally at this point, if this was a uh, movie, we'd go to commercial now and keep the suspense, but I'm gonna continue. Let's go. Alrighty, second cylinder, guess what? About 178. Really, really cool. Probably the highest cylinder out of all of them at the moment. So uh, two more to go, keep those fingers crossed. So that's all eight cylinders done. Can you tell from my face the final result? Let's spin the camera, I shall show you the tester. And here we go, moment of truth. It wasn't meant to happen, cut. Let's try that again. Ta da It's about 170. So, results. Previously, 50, 50, 55, and 50 on that rear bank when we had those cams out of alignment by a few teeth. Now we have 170, 177, 178, I think it was, 173, and 170. So, looking brilliant back there. Front ones between 165 and 175. So, not too bad. Could be a bit better, but great starting point. So, what next? Naturally, I am super happy with the results of that compression test. It just means that we've got no major bent valves in there and I can continue with the project. Um, still a little bit concerned with that rear cam belt and in between doing some of those compression tests, it seemed to get a little bit loose. It might be me just uh, worrying about these things, but anyway, it's a weight of my mind that the uh, valves are not bent in the engine. So I'm gonna put two brand new um, Cam belts on there, two tensioner bearings. We'll check everything again. Hopefully I won't cock up changing these things over. So today, so far, we have done the compression test. Thumbs up to the readings on that, that's all good. We have managed to get the idle speed back down to something realistic. Again, I can play around with it, but it's not 4,000 revs, uh, so we're not gonna blow up the engine while it's cold, okay? So that's great. Third thing we want to do, like I say earlier, is change these. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. These are nice new belts to go on the car. So the correct Ferrari ones. New tensioners. So I'm going to start by changing the belts. Uh, the reason being is because when I was stopping the car halfway then, while I was testing it and getting it idle down, I was checking the tension on these belts or this belt in particular and it did feel loose yeah so it's okay now uh, so my concern again is really either the tensioner so I'm going to have a look at the tensioner because I can obviously make changes to that but my real concern is this yeah is this causing the belt to go loose so let's have a look this is one of our tensioners off the 308 Everything seems to be pretty smooth. The spring seems to be okay. But what I'll do is I'll take it apart quickly, which is just compressing it a bit, pulling it off this little lug here. We've got a little channel in the back there that sits on that lug. Spring, but I'm gonna give it all a good old clean up before I put it back on the car. So I'm triple checking everything again, rocker cover off, timing marks line up. Double check over here. Timing mark lines up down there. So we're ready to put the belts on. Tension was all greased up. New bearings on. Belts ready. It's in place. It's facing the right way. So we got the Ferrari logo pointing the way I like it. And so let's get that tensioner on. Get it tensioned up. New bearing on the tensioner. It's ready to go on the car. 
these little clamps to clamp the belt and just hold it in place on the teeth. Well, our marks are good still on both banks. So let's put that tensioner in place. So what I do is I slide it behind the belt and then put it onto the brackets. Okay. So that's both belts in place, new belts, new tensioners. That's all tensioned up now. So is that bank. So I'm happy with that. All our timing marks still lined up, nothing slipped there. So we're all good, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'm now going to turn it over by hand a few times just to check everything, check the belts. Make sure they don't go slack. My concern still is that lower sprocket there. Um, I've got a sneaky suspicion. My gut instinct is telling me that that is what is throwing this belt out over in the uh, rear bank over here. So I'm gonna turn it over by hand and test it throughout a couple of times. The belts are on. I've checked those, I've run it up. The belt tension is good still. Belt tension is good. So, let's just see. Unfortunately guys, in typical British weather fashion, the heavens decided to open up and it poured down on me and the car. So I had to quickly uh, stop the uh, progress on the 308, wrap it up, put the engine lid back on just to try and keep that dry. However, we achieved all three goals we set out to do today, which were compression test. So we tested both banks and I got a pretty good reading on all eight cylinders so I am super happy with that. If I'm honest, I'm a little shocked. I didn't think I would um, get such good readings on that rear bank, but that's great news for me. Uh, what else? We changed the cam belts and bearings on both banks, so that's new and fresh, looking good. Thirdly, we managed to get that idle speed down so it's around about 1000 RPM at the moment. I couldn't play around with that, but it's where it needs to be for the time being. So super, super happy with the progress today. My only niggly gut feel is that that lower sprocket has still got a problem. And I think that was the root cause of why that rear bank belt was loose. So I've kept all the covers off. When it's dry, I'll be back there. I will be testing everything and we will see and continue to monitor um, that engine on the 308. Anyway, I, uh, I'm gonna wrap that up for today. I've got a bit here to do on the other project. This is the 348 and I've finished certain bits, so I'm gonna start rebuilding that. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down there. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and obviously share the knowledge. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next one. Ciao for now.